of uh, faith and works put together. Yes, is it wrong for a Protestant church to have a creed that says something to the effect, we are saved by faith, evidenced by works, or Abraham was saved by faith, demonstrated by, by works? Yeah, no, that's, I would say that um, the biblical view is that we are saved through faith alone. That's what, that's the instrument that joins us to Jesus, right? But saving faith is never alone. Wrong. Let's take a look at what the Bible says. But to him that worketh not, but believeth on him that justifieth the ungodly, his faith is counted for righteousness, even as David also describeth the blessedness of the man unto whom God imputeth righteousness without works. And if by grace then it is no more of works. Otherwise, grace is no more grace. But if it be of works, then it is no more grace. Otherwise, work is no more work. It always has works. If it is truly saving faith, it will produce works because it's a divine faith given by God that's real. If a church doesn't have a statement, a belief that says that true faith is always accompanied by works, then that faith doesn't understand the gospel. Let's see what the Bible says. Ephesians 2, 8 and 9. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast, and be found in him, not having mine own righteousness, which is of the law, but that which is through the faith of Christ, the righteousness which is of God by faith, not by works of righteousness which we have done, but according to his mercy he saved us, by the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Ghost. Knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law, but by the faith of Jesus Christ, even we have believed in Jesus Christ, that we might be justified by the faith of Christ and not by the works of the law, for by the works of the law shall no flesh be justified. You know, there was a guy in the Bible named Paul. Some of you might know who that is. Even he admitted that after salvation, he still dealt with sin in his life. Romans 7.22 for I delight in the law of God after the inward man, but I see another law in my members, warring against the law of my mind and bringing me into captivity to the law of sin, which is in my members. O wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from the body of this death? In Romans 7, he also refers to himself as carnal. Wicked false prophets like Jeff Durbin would say that Paul isn't saved because he admitted that he's carnal. You know, there was also a guy named King Saul in the Bible. He did some pretty despicable things, including intentionally falling on a sword to kill himself. Saul was someone who tried to murder David because he was jealous of him. He even tried to murder his son, Jonathan. He's committed murder. He consulted with a witch to conjure up Samuel from the dead. But at the end of the day, despite the fact that he committed some pretty bad sins, the Bible says that he was saved because he had faith. We know for sure that Samuel was saved, and here's what he said to him in 1 Samuel 28, 19. Moreover, the Lord will also deliver Israel with thee into the hand of the Philistines, and tomorrow shalt thou and thy sons be with me. The Lord also shall deliver the host of Israel into the hand of the Philistines. If anyone ever tells you that the moment you get saved, you're going to repent of your sins and you're going to turn a new leaf and your Christian life is just going to go perfect automatically, they're either A, a Calvinist, which Jeff Durbin is, or B, they're promoting a backdoor work salvation that is not at all the gospel. The Bible says that we can know that we have eternal life. The only way for us to truly know that is to put our faith and our trust in what Jesus did for us, not what we have done for Jesus. Because our works are as dirty rags. The Bible says there was none righteous, no, not one. We can't work our way to heaven. Hopefully one day Jeff Durbin will realize that. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for more.